Welcome back to Stop, Look, and Listen with Samantha. Now yesterday I talked about self-punishment and if you haven't seen that video yet, I do recommend that you pause, go back and watch that, and then come to this one because it's building on it. So we talked about what self-punishment is. It's basically a form of abuse to yourself because it's excessive, okay? And it's actually hurting you. So overeating, um, drug and alcohol use, maybe excessive shopping, isolation, whatever it is, it's been to a point where it's excessive, now it's become a habit, now there are serious repercussions that you may have to deal with. So you have to figure out what is the underlying emotion that you're dealing with. So I love food, okay, um, but that wasn't why I was eating the amount that I was eating. I was eating because I was unhappy in a relationship. Now, once I came to that realization, I had to affect a desire to change which isn't always easy. That took me a lot of time too. That took me a couple of years before I really had the courage to end things because it was an eight year relationship and there was a lot of history there. Now, when that finally happened, I made the change that I needed to emotionally, but I was still left with the 70 pound repercussion, which took me another two years to get out of and a lot of work. So I had to join Weight Watchers. I worked out hard several times a week and I wasn't perfect and I messed up sometimes and I forgave myself and it was an up and down challenge, but I persevered and over the course of two years, I was able to get back to normal. Okay, but there were people during the time that I was packing on 70 pounds that would have a genuine concern for me and they may have made comments and those comments did not help. Actually, they did nothing but irritate me and cause me to want to eat more because everything you see on this side of the board is your journey, okay? It's not anyone else's. And for anyone else to try to step in before you come to the point of realization or before you come to the point of desire to change is really going to do nothing but annoy you, which is what it did for me. Um, now, once you get to the point of desire to change and change, that's when you might want to call on some help and let someone come to you for that. Okay. So next video, I'm going to talk about the other end of it, which is being the bystander, which I've been in at times as well. Um, so look forward to that.